Hola dragons! Hi dragons! Today you're going to be cooking with Miss Dempsey. On May 5th, Mexicans celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of the Battle of Puebla. The Battle of Puebla is celebrated because a small number of Mexican army soldiers were able to defeat a large number of French soldiers. So Cinco de Mayo celebrates that battle win. Today we're going to be making guacamole for our celebration for Cinco de Mayo. You're going to need a bowl, an avocado from Mexico, of course, lime, salt, a spoon, a fork, and a knife, so you'll need parent help, and a cutting board. The first thing you wanna do is get your avocado. With your parent's help, you're gonna grab the knife and cut it in half. Once you cut it in half, you should have two slices. This is where you'll need your parent's help for sure. In order to take out the seed in the middle, what I like to do is I like to kind of dig that knife and twist it and it pops right out. So of course you'll need your parents to do that to help you. Next, you're going to get your spoon and you're gonna scoop out the inside of that avocado and you're gonna put it in your bowl, okay? It should look like this if you skinned it well enough. Okay, and then you're gonna do the other half as well. So you're gonna scoop out that middle, okay? Then, now this is up to your preference and your taste, but Miss Dempsey likes a little bit of salt, about three or four shakes. And then I like lim um, lime juice, because it helps me know how much I'm putting in, but you can also use fresh limes, whatever you like. So I usually do a little, two, two little squirts in there. And then a trick that I learned is, again, you're gonna need your parents' help for this. You're going to get your knife, and if your avocado is soft and ripe enough, it should be really easy to cut up inside your bowl, or at least your parents can cut it up inside your bowl to make smaller pieces. And then what you can do is you can grab your fork, and then you can start kind of pushing it against the side of the bowl, kind of squishing it so it looks like that. And then you're gonna scramble it, push it in, mix it up. And remember, you have your salt and your lime in this, as well. So you're mixing up all those flavors when you're mixing up your avocado. When you're done mixing your avocado, it should look something like that. There you go. And the best way to eat avocado, of course, is with tortilla chips. Honey tortilla chips. So, grab yourself some tortilla chips and enjoy!